Hello everyone. I hate doing this, but folks, horrible deaths I just read about this morning and uh moment of silence the late great Tommy Morrison. Remember him in Rocky 5 and he was a real life boxer from Oklahoma, white guy, passed away from HIV after 17 years of suffering with it. Brutal. And then David Frost Pretty much the British equivalent of uh, Walter Cronkite. In fact, he was knighted by Queen Elizabeth. David Frost, phenomenal news journalist, passed away, heart attack, August 31st, September 1st, um, at the age of 74, aboard a cruise ship. Ugh. Folks, it just shows you never know when it's your time to go. All right? And a definite um, moment of silence to, for a couple friends of mine, their mutual friend, who was gunned down at the age of 21 years old, mother of three, gunned down by a jilted freak lover of some sort. Folks, it just shows. You know, I, I'm i speechless, so moment of silence, please. All right, rest in peace, Tommy Morrison. Rest in peace, David Frost. Rest in peace to that lovely young lady. Out of Hooks, Texas, that was murdered. Folks, you know, like they say, get busy living or get busy dying. Uh, Shawshank Redemption, here you go, because, folks, it is Monday! August, September, rather, September 2nd in the year of our Lord, 2013. How are all you doing out there? Happy Labor Day! I'm doing awesome as always. Yes. Wicked awesome. It's been an interesting four-day weekend to say the least. And uh, because you know beer is good for you, you damn right it is, folks. And uh, today's show brought to you by our good friend, Crystal Lloyd Dozani of KJ Lloyd Ogana Gold Coffee. Great way to start the day or the night or whatever have you. Uh, check it out, folks. And uh, she is doing great things. 50 style pinup model, aspiring actress, um, published poet, and she knows it twice. Looking into getting the burlesque now. I mean, this girl's got everything going on. She is going to be famous. I predict she will be the next Betty Page. Crystal Lloyd Dozani, thank you for your support as always. All right, I'm parched. Let's bring out ah the great initials JSB. So much better than JDW. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I'll get to that in a moment. Um. Can't go wrong when you bring out Sam Adams Oktoberfest, an A-plus quality beer, 5.3% of pure, exquisite awesomeness out of Boston, Massachusetts, the greatest city in, in the world, greatest state in the nation. Without Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America, period, dot, end of freaking story. Power beer opening apparatus, proper technique, and a good pop as well. 45 degree angle right into the beer consumption apparatus, right over the keyboard, because I'm just that damn good, haven't spilled a drop yet, never have, never will. Cheers and beers to all of you prosses in Germany, Kapai, as they say in Japan. Ah, so damn good. Alright, folks, we got three birthdays for today. One of them, she's a legend. Uh, in fact, she's a uh, either two or I think three time fan of the week. The lovely, gorgeous, wicked awesome, Renee Phillips. Works at a store down here in Yeehaw, Texas, always hooking me up, and uh, she shares the show and page every day, or shares the show every day, and uh, she's done great things, she's got everybody in the store watching the show, Renee Phillips, you're a sweetheart of a lady, absolutely wicked awesome, and a shout out to your wonderful man, Jason, as well, and uh, you have a wicked awesome day, Renee, happy birthday, milestone birthday, I might add, welcome to the new age bracket, trust me, it ain't so bad, I'll tell you, but hey, Renee, Thank you for your support. You're absolutely amazing. Cheers and beers to you. Have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. And then we got Dan Roberts. Mafia Wars legend. Celebrating a big milestone birthday today. Dan, happy birthday to you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Definitely appreciate the uh, help on the Mafia Wars. It's all about good people helping whack schmucks and schmuckettes out there. Without doing it for real. Although some people deserve it. <laughs> I'll tell you. I've learned some things this weekend. Oh boy. But 
Dan, you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Big hearty cheers and beers to you. I hope you enjoy the show. And then, Gene Marks, a badass Jetsico I worked with in jolly old England. Gene, a phenomenal young man, amateur boxer, definite model of exquisite fitness. This guy's incredible, just a great guy. Gene, happy birthday to you, my friend. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Miss the hell out of you. Need more people like you in the world. A positive example for everyone. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you, brother. Alrighty. Okay, we had a trivia question, and uh, this one was short and sweet. I was playing the hell out of the great video game L.A. Noir, and we know the video game L.A. Noir is obviously set in Los Angeles, California. But what year is it set in? Well, Erica S. Burner, she said 1947. By God, you're absolutely correct, Erica. She is a um, tattoo artist in. Illinois, a wonderful young lady. In fact, she's the personal tattoo artist of, of a former admin of ours, a good friend of ours. <clears throat> Squeeze me. Our man, Kevin Sherman. You've heard that name many times. And by the way, he's just become a writer for Yo! Magazine, one of our unofficial sponsors. So, Kev, wicked awesome job. And Erica, take care of that, man. You're a wonderful lady. Wicked awesome job. A love doctor salute to you. Hell yeah. Keep the trivia coming. Keep the answers coming. Keep the support coming. And uh, cheers and beers to you, my friend. Hope you enjoy the show. Alrighty. How about some additional shout-outs? Oh, let's get to the fan of the week. Dun, 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 dun. Now, my admins and I, Gidget and uh, Big McLeod Huge, we had a real dilemma. I had a real dilemma. Because, folks, there's two fans that really stuck out as huge, huge, huge support. Helped out the show big time. One of them was actually your winner last week. George Sekman out of Japan. A great man indeed. He has shared the show every day again this week. In fact, he shared my show twice in one day a couple times. Incredible. And uh, and then we got Jen Henriksen. We know her um, former babe of the day. Her, her wonderful boyfriend's got a band called King Shifter. She's a huge contributor. She... She shared the show and page a few times, and uh, she's also recruited friends to like the page, a bunch of them. In fact, she's recruited a friend that you're going to see featured in an episode pretty soon as Babe of the Day. Jen's been recruiting like crazy. George has been spreading the word like crazy. Couldn't help it. By God, George Seckman, Jen Henriksen, you have tied for Fan of the Week. Wicked awesome job. Our first ever tie for Fan of the Week. I could not pick one. Love Dr. Salute to each of you. Hell yeah. Huh. Hopefully we won't have to make that decision again. But, you know, sometimes ties do happen. MVP in the World Series. That happened, you know. MVP in the Major Leagues. Those things happen. Sometimes ties do happen. And by God, George, Jen, wicked awesome job to both of you. Thank you for your support. Your support like a double D bra. Underwear. That's a point. I'll drink to that. All right. More shout outs. Let's give a shout out to my man Jordan Tyler, a badass age ranger that I know down here in Yeehaw, Texas. A great friend, a true friend. And folks, this guy's so awesome. He's actually going to spread the word of the good Lord. He's going to be gone for a while, vacation, sabbatical. Um, going to spread the word about the good Lord. And uh, motivate others, because he's an awesome guy like that, from good old Maine, better known as Southern Quebec. And uh, Jordan, you're going to be missed big time, buddy. You are going to be missed. And I got to say it, though. Oh, there's some friends that we thought we had as friends, and you know what? We realize that they're fake. Yeah, a few dudes, one chick. You know, they suck. Some people are stuck on stupid. You know, so, ah, mm-hmm, that's the way it goes sometimes. You know, hey, you learn about people every so often. You realize, you know, some people just flat out freaking suck. But you know what? Karma's a bitch and it'll bite them in the ass eventually. That's the way I look at it. Just, folks, remember, always treat others the way you want to be treated, okay? Remember that. There's your life lesson from the love doctor today. Spreading love and cheer among the land. 
all about good people helping good people to reach out to other good people. And if, hey, if they're fake, phony, and they're not good, you know what? <clears throat> Drop them like a bad habit. Forget about it. Say, hey, what the fugazi, huh? Yeah? And you press on. And don't worry, because when bad people hang out with other bad people, guess what? Shit happens, and not in a good way. And karma's a bitch. So, you know, when they start getting lonely and sad, and, be, you know, oh, well, you had your chance. Hey, me, I try to be like the good Lord, you know, Lord forgives, and so do I. So, Jordan Tyler, anyway, you're an amazing guy, an amazing friend, and I'm going to miss the hell out of you. So, brother, you better keep in touch, or I'm going to find you, and we'll attempt to kick your ass. Brother! Cheers and beers, bro. Cheers and beers. All right. Dave Clark, a badass Giants fan all the way. New York Giants fan. This guy's a New York man. Try it and true. Living down here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. I worked with him in jolly old Japan. He's a spark-chasing legend of a man. This guy's ultra cool, knows great music. Dave, awesome guy. I love your posts. Always posting up great stuff. And Dave Clark. We're going to have to hang out sometime and talk music and drink some beers again like we did in the past. Hell yeah. Dave Clark. Cheers and beers, my friend. Hope you enjoy the show. And let's give it up to a couple uh, Mafia Wars friends of mine I've gained a good bond with. Alex Rucker, Eugene Finley. These guys are phenomenal. We've been helping each other out on the Mafia Wars big time lately. And I wanted to give you guys a big shout out and say thank you for your support. Hell yeah. Like Bottles and James, you know. Thank you for your support. And uh, Alex, Eugene, you guys are phenomenal. Glad to help you out. Thank you for helping me out on the Mafia Wars. Boy, we're getting stronger and stronger to whack those bad guys and bad girls, you know? That's right. Eugene, Alex, cheers the beers to, to the two of you. And finally, I want to give a shout-out to a very good friend of mine. He's like a fellow brother, a badass AR legend of a man, a leader of men, women, and it's that I worked with in Jolly Old England. This guy is a... Prof he, he needs to be a professional songwriter. Danny Shepard. He gets a lot of love on the show because the guy is just amazing. He's like me. we all about, you know, treating people right. Danny, I wish you had a litter of kids, like about 50 of them. You and your wonderful better half, Christina. You guys are phenomenal. Your daughter, Zoe, a total sweetheart. The Shepard's family. I give a love doctor salute. And Danny wrote another song, and what he does, he'll write songs, and uh, he says, put it to this song, put it to this music, you know. Danny, all you need is somebody that knows how to write some music, play some music, <clears throat> excuse me, and you've definitely got an established professional career ahead of you. On top of that, professional ma magician, this guy's magic is incredible, folks. Danny Shepard, a man that is truly blessed with many talents, and a man that is truly blessed by just being an awesome, awesome guy. And I am blessed to have him as a friend, a true friend. Danny Shepard, I love you like a brother. And not in a West Virginia, Alabama, or Kentucky type of way. Cheers up beers, my friend. All right. Shout out to Dunn. I think it's time we bust out today's hunk of the day. As we work on some birthdays. This guy is, it's hard to believe, but it's true. He is 62 years old today. And my wife, Absa Smurf, absolutely loves this guy. From NCIS, we're talking about Mike Harmon, folks. Mike Harmon, 62 today. Huh? There you go. Mike Harmon and there's Cody DePablo. We're going to have to have her as babe of the day. There was a request for her as babe of the day. A good friend of mine out there that requested that. So we'll make that happen in a future episode. Mark Harmon, hey, you know, he's maybe the silver fox now. But, you know, that's a, still a dapper man indeed. Um, other birthdays today, we got a bunch of them. So let's get to them, huh? Let's do it. We got Keanu Reeves, 49 today. I almost had him as hunk of the day, but I said, you know what? I'm going to hook up my love goddess and hook up with Mark Harmon here. You know, Keanu Reeves, I'm sure he'll make a visit soon enough. Keanu Reeves, 49 years old. Comedian Cat Williams. Now, Cat Williams is 40 years old today. I'm just not a big Cat Williams fan. I've listened to him a couple times, and he's not bad, but compared to George Carlin, oh, man, there you go. Hanging out with man's best friends, of course, there you go. Look at that. Ah, nice car. Older picture, look at that, will you? Um, 
Terry Bradshaw, Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback, legend number 12. He is 65 years old today. He's a senior citizen, and so is Nate Tiny Archibald, number seven of the Boston Celtics back in the day. Boy, I remember him. And then uh, one that would be 65 today. Sadly, she passed away January 28, 1986. Challenger explosion. New Hampshire teacher, Kristen McAuliffe. You remember that one well. I know I do. Horrible day, indeed. Hey, how about Lennox Lewis? He's 48 today. Probably the greatest uh, boxer in England history. But God, he was boring to watch. But he was a hell of a boxer. Like it or hate it, that jab was deadly. Lennox Lewis, 48 years old today. Adolf Rupp, for you big-time uh, Kentucky fans out there. Adolf Rupp, of course, the legend, coach of Kentucky for many, many years. Born in this day in 1901, passed away in 1977. Eric Dickerson. Eric Dickerson, legendary running back for the Los Angeles Rams and later on the Indianapolis Colts, my man Justin Dimmitt's team. Eric Dickerson, 53 today, late great funk um, musician. Billy Preston, this guy was a legend indeed, born in the state in 1946. Sadly, he passed away much too young in 2006. Horace Silver, jazz composer for over 50 years. He is 85 years old today. That is awesome. Jimmy Connors, male tennis legend, retired at the age of 40. Yeah, that's a long career to play tennis, I'll tell you that. He is 61 years old today, and he was a fiery dude, just like John McEnroe. Those two guys were something. They made tennis interesting in the uh, early 80s. There you go, Mike Harmon, 1986, sexiest man alive. You know, he's, he's aged quite well. He really has. And I know the ladies and the men that love the men absolutely love him. Hey, Justin Dimmy, he looks a little bit like Tom Brady right there, doesn't he? Minus the ass chin. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, holy shit. All right. Harvey Levin, lawyer. He founded the website that you all are well familiar with, TMZ. He had a celebrity website, TMZ. Oh, I love the pictures they have. Oh, there's some interesting articles, though. He is 63 today. Robert Shapiro, 71 years old today. Remember him, defense attorney for O.J. Simpson? That's right. Yeah, obviously a damn good one, too. When you can get O.J. Simpson out of a uh, guilty murder plea, that's saying that you are definitely a professional bullshit artist. Him and Johnny Cochran, wow. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. So we're done with the birthdays. Folks, let's bring out Kylan's Corner. I got time for that. George Kylan, of course, probably the greatest comedian to ever grace God's earth. And uh, I love this. I know my friend Jordan Tyler is not going to like it because he's a Pokemon fan. But this is true, folks. Regarding Pokemon, Beanie Babies, and such, something is really wrong when a major news story concerns how hard it is to buy a toy. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Shows the downfall of society as we know it, huh? Jeez. Remember when you watch the news for legitimate good news reports? Now you look at just... Ugh, the depression, the depression, the awful things that we see on the news every day. Folks, don't let negativity beat you down. You get up, you fight, and you hang out with good people instead. That's what the love doctor does. The others that, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, you're too friendly and stuff. You know what? <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, you don't like me for who I am? Yeah, give yourself a little GFY. I'm me. I always treat people right. That's the only way to be. So, you know, I got the support of 99.9993% of the people in the world. Must be doing something right. All right. Can't help the stupid people, I guess. But we certainly try. Um, with that said, folks, it is time to bring out today's babe of the day and today's song of the day. Oh, today's song of the day is a real treat. Taking us all the way back to 1941. Blues, baby. Really good blues right here. Up-tempo. As we bring out... Before I even get to this, this babe of the day is 47 years old. And I cannot believe that my man, Big McLeod Huge, and I omitted her. We forgot about her. We thought we had her on the show. So, a GFY to him. A GFY to me, big time. How dare we neglect the great... Goddess. That is Salma Hayek, 47. Definitely a gift sent from heaven. Look at that picture, will you? 
Justin Dimmitt, I love that picture, and I know you do too. Wow, that is just natural goddess beauty right there at its finest. She is 47 today. Let's bring out a good, happy blues song called You Shouldn't Do That by Sleepy John Estes with the Delta Boys, 1941, just before World War II. Bone Group Harmony. Bone Group Harmony combined with blues. How about that? Blues, you ain't heard quite like this every day, huh? A little bit of instrumental talent, too. That's Sleepy John singing with a high. A Sleepy John with a high falsetto voice. That's the Delta Rhythm Boys in the background. Yep, she's got heavy hangers. Oh! That'll make you blow your horn right there, won't it? You're damn right it will. Actually, that's a kazoo, buddy. Let's get a better angle of that. Song of Hayek. Another great instrumental break. Blowing that horn for Salma Hayek, baby. It's what I'm talking about. Just think of all the men and the women that love the women. That she is made emotionally erect. Salma Hayek, I have a hunch, will make a return to beer and song of the day eventually. Beauty like this doesn't come every day. A third horn blowing. Oh, when you're that fine, why not, right? Good lord. This is incredible. See, folks, this is why you should watch Baron Song of the Day every day. Because there are so many great men and women out there that need to be featured that have not been featured yet. Oh! A fourth horn blowing. I'll tell you what. Woo! Indeed! Yeah, this show's getting a lot more positive now, isn't it? You're damn right it is. All right, I'll drink to that. Hell yeah. All right, this day in history, let's whip it through, baby. Last year, ending a 50-year ban on veiled female news presenters, Egypt State Television gives its female presenters a choice of wearing or not wearing a veil. Wow. See? Shit like that's still going on. On this day in 1987, Phillips introduces the CD video. Hell yeah. I think that later became the DVD. On this day in 1964, Norman Manley scores two consecutive holes in one at Dell Valley, California. I don't think it was a miniature golf course either. Fifty years ago today, CBS and NBC expand network news from 15 to 30 minutes. On this day in 1960, Tamara and Arena Press of the Soviet Union become the first ever sisters to win Olympic gold. That is huge. On this day in 1945, some huge things happen. VJ Day officially... Victory in Japan Day, formal surrender of Japan aboard the USS Missouri, World War II ends. On that same day, Ho Chi Minh declares Vietnam independence from France, National Day, Happy Independence Day. Of course, we know that uh, things changed after that. Honestly, 1940, a big one. Great Smokies Nas Great Smoky Na Mountains National Park dedicated Tennessee. Oh, it's a beautiful area, too. Honestly, 1937, U.S. Housing Authority was created by the National Housing Act. On this day, 1936, first transatlantic round trip air flight occurred. On this day, 1930, another airplane won. First non stop airplane flight from Europe to the United States. 37 hours. Wow. On this day, in 1929, WOR out of New York Radio ends affiliation with CBS. On this day, in 1919, oh, well, hey, this kind of explains things a little. And I'll bite my tongue. Ah! Communist Party of America organizes in Chicago, Illinois. Hmm. On this day, 1901, Vice President at the time, Teddy Roosevelt, advises, 
Speak softly and carry a big stick. Boy, you ain't lying. That big stick needs to beat the shit out of some stupid people in this world. Ho, 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 ho. On this day in 1900, telegraph use between Germany and the United States begins on this day in 1898. You'll love this one. The machine gun was first used in battle on this day in 1867. The first girls' school opens in Harlem, Netherlands. On this day in 1864, Union General William T. Sherman captures Atlanta during his march to the sea. On this day in 1859, gaslighting introduced to Hawaii. Hey, all right. Now we can see. On this day in 1789, U.S. Jury, uh, U.S. Treasury Department established by Congress. On this day in 1752, you familiar with the calendar? You will be after this. The last day of the Julian calendar in Britain in the British colonies, as it's the last Julian calendar, calendar day. No September 3rd through the 13th of 1752. Now you know the calendar as we know it today was changed to that. And finally, on this day in 1666, I mentioned it yesterday about the Great Fire of London. It ended up destroying 13,000 houses, killed eight people. Thankfully, it wasn't more. And uh, the Great Fire of London ended. Mm. Let's slam the rest of this here beer, eh? Mm. Folks, a lot of info today. A little negative, a lot of positive. That's the way it goes. You know what time it is, right? Damn right, Remy Dr. B. Folks, time to make like a fetus to head out so everybody take care of an awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't you can drive my spray drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumb as being a Yanks fan. See? <laughs> Squeeze me. And what's dumber than that is root for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. Yeah, and your freaking dreams. Manning or men slapping women or animal abuse or racism or people that welch on bets, fake friends, or anybody that supports, defends, or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Racism sucks too, no doubt about that. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat GFY. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bye. You know who you are if you suck, and you know who you are if you're wicked awesome.